Hi, it's Fisher from Sawmate. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I make this beautiful skirt with a center front kick pleat or inverted box pleat, please stay tuned. You will need an A-line skirt block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how to make one. I'll put a link in the description below and the link above. So you go make yourself one and come and complete this task with me. Okay. Make sure to leave yourself a bit of space at the center front here to make the pleats. Trace around the pattern. Lift your pattern. So this is our center front. From the center front, go about 16 centimeters. Measure and mark a few points parallel to the center front and put a mark and draw a straight line. Square down the hemline. Measure and mark about 8 centimeters from the center front and draw a straight line again. Measure from the waistline down to the hip level and put a mark. Square straight line at the waistline. Now cut along the fold line. Wrap the center front line and fold it to touch the fold line like I'm doing here fold along the center front and bring it to touch the fold line fold the pleat nicely and cut around the pattern now on to drawing on the patch pocket you can draw any style you like doesn't matter really and just adding the seam allowances right round. Now I'm marking my all punches at all the corners so that I can be able to position this pocket exactly where I want it on the fabric. Now get another fresh pattern paper and put it under your pattern. Get a tracing wheel and just trace the pocket pattern all around. Get the pattern and just draw out the layout of the pocket. Now drawing in the grain line for the pocket. And just labeling it. Page pocket cut two pairs and I put my initial cut around the pattern. I'm just putting in my notches for the pleats and all the other notches. Putting in my green line right at the center front. And just knotting the fold line there with this sign. On to labeling the pattern. Front skirt, cut one on fold. And I put my initial. On to the back skirt, press around the pattern as usual. lift the pattern we're not going to make much changes on this pattern we're going to just use it as is so now i'm just going to put in my grain line and labeling the pattern back skirt cut one pair just putting on my notches there 
and I put my initial. Cut around the pattern. Now I'm just applying some notches to my patterns. Now moving on to making the waistband, measure the waistline along the seams and put it down for both the front and back. So first draw a straight line. Square straight line at the beginning of this line which is equivalent to the waistband width multiplied by 2. Now measure for the front waist measurement plus back waist measurement and put a mark. Square another straight line up from that point which is equivalent to the waistband width multiplied by 2 again. Join these two points with a straight line. Now measure for the button extension, I'm using 2.5 centimeters, put a mark and draw another straight line and join these two points. So I used 2.5 centimeters there. Now I'm putting in my seam allowances, one centimeter right round except for the center front. That's the center front which is going to be on fold. Now measure between those two lines and mark halfway. Do the same on the other side and mark halfway again. Draw a straight line which is our grain line. Now labeling the pattern. Skirt waist bend. Cut one on fold. plus one interfacing on fold as well and I put my initial just putting on the notches there now get your front skirt and note the measurement Measure for your front waist measurement that we just checked and put a notch. This will show us the side seam. Transfer it to the other side to put a notch. Now cut around the pattern. And our waistband piece is finished too. Now our patterns are finished and next we're moving on to the sewing of the skirt. So now we're moving on to sewing our skirt. So you need your skirt patterns and you also need a nice fabric. I'm gonna use this green fabric and I've got a nice pattern as well to match with that. Then I've got my cutting tools as usual and I've got an hour to transfer some of the notches and markings onto the fabric. Let's go on to cutting now. Now I just pierce through these marked points for a pocket location on the skirt. And also here, the center front where our pleat is going to start, you're going to have to come about 0.3 centimeters in and put a mark there so that you can also do an hour punch there as well so that you know when you're sewing that that's where you're going to start with the pleat. Okay, let's do that.
Okay, so now we finish cutting all our pattern pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our western piece and just go and iron on the interfacing. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so that's done. I've ironed on the interfacing on my waistband and I went ahead and folded it in half and ironed it out as well. So I'll put the waistband on the side for now. Grab your four pocket pieces, make sure you've got a page, okay? Put them one on top of another, right sides together. Now you're gonna go to your sewing machine and sew all around with a one centimeter seam allowance, making sure that at the bottom of the pocket you leave about a five centimeter gap so you'll be able to turn it over to the right side after you finish. Let's do that quickly. Okay, so our pockets are sewn and we left a little gap here. So now we're going to turn the pockets over, both of them, to the right side. Make sure to get the corners out nicely then we're gonna go to the iron and iron them nice and straight. Now take your front skirt fold it along the fold line right sides together now go to your sewing machine and sew from the center front notch here until you get to the hour punch we marked for where the pleat is gonna start, okay? So make sure you back check at the beginning and back check at the end. Let's do that. Okay, so we finished sewing our pleat from the center front notch to the place where the pleat is gonna start opening, okay? So what we're gonna do next is to turn our skirt long side up like this. And then we're going to fold our pleat nicely, aligning the notches at the top and bottom. And just pin it on both sides. Like this. So next we're gonna go to our sewing machine and just sew along this edge here with a 0.5 centimeter seam allowance just to make sure our pleat lays nicely. At the same time, whilst we're at the sewing machine, we're going to attach our page pockets. So just align them nicely on your pocket here using the points that we marked. So we just go onto our sewing machine and sew along the edges here too for both pockets. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now I've finished attaching my pleat at the top here and I've also finished with the pockets. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the iron and iron down the pockets and also iron out my pleat nicely. Okay, that's done. Our pleat is nicely pressed and also our pockets are nicely pressed. So next we're moving on to applying our slipper to the back. Next get both your back pieces and just go on to overlocker and overlock all the edges. That's done. So now lay your back skirt pieces one on top of the other right sides together like I'm doing here now because now we want to apply our zipper. So next, just spin from your zipper notches going down, okay? So we're going back to the sewing machine from the top here, we'll sew with our longest stitch until we get to the first pin here where my zipper notch is located and then we back tag and we go straight on with the normal sewing stitch and then back tag at the end as well. Let's do that. Okay, so I've overlocked my seam and ironed it open, ready to install the zipper. Now just get your zipper and just align it right here at the edge, making sure that your zipper teeth are just right at the center of this seam here. Just pin it along. So 
so now i'm just gonna go to my sewing machine and sew along the edges here because this is gonna be a centered zipper let's do that okay so our zipper is nice and sewn so now we need to just get rid of the basting stitch that we put here and then it will be all good so we're going to get the front skirt and we're gonna go to the overlocker and overlock all the edges okay i've done that now we're gonna get our front skirt lay it on top of the back skirt right sides together and we're going to pin along the side seams So what we're going to do next is to sew along the side seams, okay? And then we're going to go to our hemline and just overlock right round. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so that's done. I've sewn and overlocked the side seams. And I went ahead and ironed the hem up as well, ready for sewing. So I'll finish this hem with a blind stitch. So now we're going to put on our waistband. Open your zipper. Can you get to the right side? Now get your waistband. You align this part of your skirt with the notch that we put for our button extension, like this. And pin all around. Okay, now we're just gonna go to the sewing machine and sew all around with a one centimeter seam allowance. So I've attached the waistband. So next we're going to fold our waistband back on both sides like this. And then we go to our sewing machine and sew along this seam allowance until we get to this center back seam here. Okay, let's do that for both sides. Okay, that's done. So now we're going to turn this to the right side like this. Make sure that you iron your seam allowance upwards and then what we're gonna do next, go ahead and fold the seam allowance under like this, making sure to cover all the seam here at the back. And then we're going to be sewing from the front here in the ditch but at the same time making sure that we're catching the back here okay you can go to your iron and just iron it down so that it's easy to handle at the machine i'm gonna go to my iron and do that and then i'm gonna go and sew it up okay so i've ironed it all down so now it's gonna be easy for me to catch the whole seam through the ditch here okay so i'm just gonna go do that and at the same time I'm going to come to my hemline here and just do a blind stitch all around. Okay, so the waist pant is nicely finished. The nicely finished inside as well. And I went ahead and finished my hem with a blind stitch. So it's nice and neat as well. Last thing for me to do now is to add my button hole in button. Okay, I'm gonna go and do that now. So that's done. My button and button hole are sewn on, and my skirt is finished, and I'm very happy with the result. Thank you.